All right, fine. If it's like emergency. Emergency. Okay. Patient doctor. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are sweating from the. Wait, anyway, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that in front of a girl. This is the police. 15 dental myths harming your teeth. And these are common misconceptions that can harm you on a daily basis. And don't feel bad if these are some things that you've been doing at home because I am also a victim. <laughs> <laughs> and stay tuned to the end for a special one that you can use before <laughs> Valentine's Day. <gasps> Yay! Singing, you have a Valentine? No, I'm gonna stay home, delete Instagram. <laughs> Comment below if you try to slide into Sunny's DMs. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Best wingman in the world. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. A special guest today. Hi, I'm Sunny. Sunny's back. Sunny <laughs> and I go way back five years ago now. Mm -hmm. 2020. At the start of Beam City, and now you are a second-year dental student. Wow. Yay! Time flies. You're about to see patients soon. In the summer, yes. Excited? Yeah, you're my face first patient. What are we gonna do? Do a filling, we're gonna do a root canal, I'm gonna numb you up. We're gonna do everything. Are you confident? Yeah. Uh, let's test your knowledge of these facts okay. first. And if you get more than 13 <laughs> uh -huh. correctly explained, okay. you can do whatever you want. Okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm gonna throw some hard ones in here too. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> let's start with number. 15. Cavities cannot be reversed. <laughs> Have we been lying to patients all these years? No, not necessarily. But so what cavities can be reversed? If it's within the enamel surface. Okay, so why is that an important distinction within enamel? It can be remineralized yes. through the use of fluoride, xylitol. One of the greatest joys in my life, I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. This might be cheesy. We've seen it here in the office. And we celebrate. Yeah, yeah, we celebrate. We look at x-rays, we see microscopically these tiny cavities that form between teeth. Mm -hmm. And we catch it early enough, we have a sit-down talk with the kid, motivate mm -hmm. him. Six months later, take an x-ray. It's gone. <laughs> greatest, it gets, the greatest feeling ever. It gives them more motivation to maintain their oral hygiene, like good oral hygiene. That was a good one, Sumi. That was a good one. I feel very invigorated <laughs> right now. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's just go right to okay. myth number 14. If you drink stuff, acidic stuff, mm -hmm. or you know, crap through straws, are you safe? I would say 50-50 because it does reduce um, direct contact okay. with your teeth. Fair. Uh-huh. But are you avoiding the entire oral You're cavity? not because the acidic content is still lowering your pH in your mouth. Right. Uh -huh. Which will, again... Weaken your enamel, soften them, and then give you more cavities. The acidity of your mouth is very important, mm -hmm. which is why saliva is important to buffer the pH. Mm -hmm. It takes about half an hour for what's called clearance time yeah. to get that pH back up to normal levels where your enamel is not soft or in a dissolved state. You can help that mm -hmm. by washing out the contents. Yes. Yeah. Another thing, this is, <laughs> this is so common. People brush their teeth and then they're like, oh crap, I'm thirsty. I want to grab some orange juice or coffee. Ooh. They drink it through a straw and they think they're good. They're not. Brush again. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it again. <laughs> right, because there are lingering contents there. Mm -hmm. I've done that before though, yeah. Same. Yeah. I grew up thinking it's that it was okay. Yeah. I also grew up with mm -hmm. a ton of cavities. Now you know. Now you know. Now you know. All right, let's go to myth number 13. Bad breath is normal and can't be cured. It's not normal, but it's common. It is common. Why isn't it normal? What does it mean? Because it, bad breath is commonly caused by bacteria, your diet, or even underlying conditions. Can it be cured is the next question. It can be cured. Most it, cases. Most cases can be cured okay. um, through, you know, better oral hygiene, mm -hmm. you know, like changing your diet, scraping your tongue. Yes. <laughs> most important. Huge one. My favorite hobby is to tongue scrape. I think I knew that. In fact, I bring it on, I bring it on dates and I say, mm. When they ask me, hey, what's your... You, know, <laughs> you just pull it up. It's say, like, you start screaming. Tell me that's not the sexiest thing. It's an ick. Is it an ick? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's an ick to not do it. It's an ick not to do it. Ignoring bad breath can signal untreated cavities, gum disease, dry mouth, and even digestive issues. So ignoring these and accepting it as fate will not only bother your neighbors <laughs> and your partner, but also it 
might be the signal, as Sunny mm -hmm. said, to get it checked out and to ask your dentist what can be done about it. And myth number 12. If flossing makes you bleed, you should stop. Myth. So why is this a misconception and what can we do about it? Well, bleeding is a sign of inflammation, not damage to your gum gums. Mm. So if you keep flossing regularly, will the bleeding reduce? Yes, okay. eventually. Because the inflammation goes away. Mm -hmm. If the bleeding persists, you can ask your dentist. Of course, these don't cover all conditions, but in most cases, if you're bleeding while flossing, just keep going with mm -hmm. it. Okay. Dental myth number 10. Harder toothbrush bristles clean better. Mm -mm. It might also clean away your gums entirely. <laughs> it leads to recession. It makes sense though, because it's harder. You can get your remove your plaque better. You can you can actually remove stains better with hard bristles. I mean harder toothpaste too, right? More abrasive pumice, for example. But in the wrong hands, this can be too abrasive. Uh -huh. So use soft bristle. Mm -hmm. Simply put. Extra soft for kids. Better for your gums, your mm -hmm. enamel. Have you had gum recession before? No. Oh, you're lucky. You have? I have it everywhere. Really? Because I used to eee. hack. I used to hack away at my bones. <gasps> yeah, I have. I have pretty bad recession. I need to get it fixed. I had years of bad brushing. I actually had a lot of problems as a kid. As a kid. A lot of dental issues. Mm. So I can relate to a lot of these kids. While we're on the topic of proper brushing with proper bristles, my baby right here. This is the Life and Wave. I helped design this brush. And what I love about this is that it keeps going through iterations based off feedback. Mm -hmm. It vibrates and oscillates up to 60 degrees, the first of its kind to do so. The customizable app is an important feature. I recommend using it on the least intense. How has your experience been with the Life and Wave? I love it. I bring it to school too. You still use it? Yeah, I do. Cool. For Valentine's Day, get it for yourself, get it for a loved one. Singy's case, she's nice. gonna, she's gonna get it for herself. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Would you like some mouth mouth rinse to drink? <laughs> yeah, can I also? <laughs> this next myth is an interesting one. Myth number nine. Veneers require filing down your tooth. Ooh, okay. Can you get away with not shaving down your teeth for veneers? You actually can. What are those called? No prep veneers. <laughs> she's, she's good, she's good. Not all veneers require shaving down mm -hmm. your teeth, but why in some cases would you want to? But for better aesthetics. Okay. Well, you can look bulk bulkier and less transparent. Enamel is generally more transparent and you don't want it to look like- Like chiclets. Chiclets, yeah. <laughs> there were a couple candidates on Singles Inferno who were like getting diagnosed by dentists on TikTok. Yeah, I saw it. So interesting. It is interesting. And they made it educational. They did, yeah. Let's talk about Singles and Theranos Hygiene's veneer. In Korea, there is a trend called no prep veneers where they advertise that you can have veneers without shaving down some of your teeth. This is a very good treatment for some patients, but in cases like Hygin where she already has like a overbite and big teeth, no prep veneers is not for her. They have to at least do some reduction on some of her natural tooth structure to place proper porcelain veneer so it doesn't affect her bite like this. And that just makes it pop out and look unnatural. In conclusion though, she's still beautiful no matter what. Cool. Myth number eight. Sugar-free sodas and seltzer water are safe for your teeth. Myth. It is a myth. So what's wrong with sugar-free soda or seltzer water? Well, carbonation creates an acidic environment that can erode enamel, mm. which makes it more prone to decay. So what's something that people can do to enjoy both the sugar-free water and good health? I think it's important to rinse your mouth with water after drinking. Oh, regular water. Yeah. water. Regular water. Myth number seven. Do-it-yourself DIY whitening methods like lemon juice and baking soda are healthy. No, oh, myth, 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 myth. I would say though, coming from someone who's done like lemon juice mm -hmm. hacks before, they do look a bit whiter, but causes a lot more sensitivity. At what cost? <laughs> At what cost? <laughs> oh, At my teeth. What cost? 
I don't do it anymore because I know it better. Because you're also eroding your enamel. Yeah. Good effort. Mm -hmm. I like that you're trying, but there are safer methods. We don't want damage on top of the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Myth number six. Losing teeth is just part of aging. People just assume that, you know, you see a lot of people getting de dentures, implants, you just assume that, oh, I'm gonna lose the teeth when I'm older, but that's not the case. This should be good news. Mm -hmm. You can maintain your teeth for a lifetime if you practice good oral hygiene. Myth number five. Flossing creates gaps, so you should stop. This is uh, very common among adults. You already had that gap. Yeah, you're just removing the plaque that was staying between your gums, your teeth. Right, so there were underlying issues there. Yeah. But rest assured, flossing itself does not create gaps. If it were that easy to create gaps, orthodontists could finish our treatments in a day. Okay, it's not that easy to move teeth. <laughs> Alright, so floss, it's not bad for you. Myth number four. Babies don't need to get flossed. It makes them cry and it's too hard. This is the single most topic of discussion every single day for me. And I don't blame parents because we certainly didn't grow up getting flossed. I, I never Most flossed. people yeah. in our generation. My parents didn't believe in flossing. Or dental visits, actually. Oh yeah? Mm -mm. Now you're a dentist now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's for another day. Okay. Baby teeth, let's see if you know this. What, what? What's the difference between baby teeth enamel and adult teeth enamel? Baby teeth enamel are thinner yes. than adult enamel. Key point, because that means that the bacteria can penetrate, create cavities mm -hmm. much faster Yes. in baby teeth. It's more reason for your kid to get flossed. As soon as two baby teeth touch, you should start flossing. Yes. Use a floss pick, it's easier, because mm -hmm. you're gonna be the one doing it. I'm assuming the parent is watching. Yeah. And if he or she cries, I'd rather them cry in yeah. your house than here getting treatment. They'll thank you later. So try your best and be gentle on the gums when you're mm -hmm. floss picking. I should, we should make a we should. pediatric oral health video on how yeah. to do all these things. We'll need a baby to demonstrate. I'm right here. That's an ick. <laughs> <laughs> Myth number three. All wisdom teeth need to be removed. As long as they're healthy, mm -hmm. no cavities, they're positioned properly, mm -hmm. they're not giving you a hard time, then you can leave them in. What's an advantage of getting them out earlier if we suspect that they might be problematic later? Well, when you're younger, you heal faster. So I think it's just better to get it removed earlier than later. I have one. You have one right now? I didn't remove it. I was born with one, just one. Really? No wonder you're not wise. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me that. I knew that. You're supposed to come back with like comebacks, you know? You're not supposed to just take it. I'm too it. nice. Uh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I hurt sense. your feelings yesterday by calling you an egg. You do that every day. Myth number two. Bad breath only comes from the mouth. It can come from? Your gut. Yes. Sinus infections. Yes. Ooh, acid reflux. Yes. Oh, Post nasal drip. Dang, okay. Dry mouth. <laughs> well, it's kind of the mouth. I want, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on a roll there. Yeah. So, um, why is it important to know this myth? If you have stubborn bad breath or halitosis, again, don't accept your fate. It might be from other sources yeah. because it can improve. It can. With the right diagnosis. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a really important myth to debunk. Chewing ice is harmless because it's just water. Chewing ice is the opposite of harmless. It's the same thing as chewing on rocks. It can cause micro cracks, fractures, damage to your existing crowns and fillings. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on. Your teeth aren't tools. They're mm -hmm. not meant to crack through ice. There may be underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. Do you know what causes people to chew ice? No. Iron deficiency. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. As we <laughs> promised, you stay tuned till the end. We have a bonus tip today. Don't worry. If you don't have a tongue scraper, you can use a toothbrush. Ooh. A metal spoon. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the toothbrush is too soft. What, you were talking about the, the yeah. hard end of it? All right, fine. If it's like emergency. Emergency? Okay. Patient doctor. <laughs> don't ever do that in front of a girl. <laughs> I'm looking out for you. Please, don't do that. <laughs> emergency. <laughs> You know what was an egg? I'm gonna... Yesterday. What? <laughs> I'm like jumping up and... I get excited about dentistry. Uh, you should be even more excited. You're, you're like in I the thick excited. of it right now. You can't tell? 
It's not an ick. When I see you get excited about dentistry, it's attractive. Okay. 